Hey guys, what's up? Sam here back with another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a quick tutorial on how to route the Samsung Galaxy J120A. Alright guys, so bear with me on this video. The quality isn't that good because I came home and did it around midnight, so it's kind of dark. However, the content is there, so if you do appreciate the effort, let me know by smashing that thumbs up button down below. Alright, now without further ado guys, let's jump into this tutorial. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that USB debugging is on. So just go into the settings, go to about device, make sure you tap on the build number until you have developers option turned on. Go here, click on OEM unlock, as well as USB debugging, all right? So go ahead, turn the phone off. We're gonna flash a engine boot image. So we're gonna boot into the download mode, connect the phone to the computer, and flash this file using Odin, all right? So it's volume down, power and home button. And then volume up to continue. So I went ahead, connected the cable to the computer. I'm gonna plug it in. Once it's connected, just go to the computer and flash this Odin file. All right, now the next thing that you're gonna do is transfer the Kingo root file, the APK to the phone. So with it connected, just make sure you tap on transfer in media files. Now it should come up right here. Just open that. Maybe open a download folder and then copy the Kingo root file, put it on the phone. All right, now you're gonna go inside the file manager here and install the APK file. So what we did pretty much was kind of relax the security measures on the phone so that now we're able to root it, all right? So let's go into device storage, click on download, and it's right here. Just enable this right here in the settings menu. Click next to install, click open. Mm, let's click on that. All right, so once you're connected to the internet, it will say if it's rooted or not. So it's not right now. So let's go ahead and try to root it. It might take a couple tries for it to work, but just be patient and keep trying. All right, so halfway through the route, it kind of just froze and it was unresponsive. I had to take the battery out. So I'm going to try this again. Okay, let's go ahead and disable Knox. Okay, so it said it was rooted successfully right there. That's weird. Let's check this. Let's just check. So we're going to just install root checker and see if it really is rooted. All right, let's download that. Come back. All right, so I have installed it. Let's go ahead, open it up. Verify root. Whoa, boom. All right, so this is definitely how you root the Samsung J120A. All right, now one thing to note that with this, you might lose your Wi-Fi. Like it might forget the Wi-Fi that you're already connected to. As you can see right here, I was connected to the Wi-Fi and now it just pretty much jumped off. Now to fix that, I'm gonna show you how, all right? So, so just hang on, I'm gonna show you how to fix this. So to fix this Wi-Fi issue, what I had to do was go ahead Put the Wi-Fi password back in and go in the Play Store and download this app called Build Prop Editor. Now what we're going to change is one little line and change it from true to false, alright? So I'm going to put in the description down below the line that you're supposed to look for, alright? Alright, so let's go ahead in the search bar right here, type in secure. And it's this one right here that says ro.securestorage.support. All we're going to do is just change it from true to false and save it so that's it click on save all right allow because it needs root to do this 
Alright, so that's pretty much it. Now another thing to note, if you swipe down you're going to see this little security notice. So this little message right here is going to always be there, it's quite annoying. So I'm going to show you how to get rid of that, alright. Let's go ahead and download this app called App Disabler. Now it is a rooted app so you have to have root for this to work, alright. Go ahead click OK and just scroll down, we're going to look for security log agent. Oh, there it is. Alright, so this right here, click on that. Click on allow. And that's pretty much it. It was disabled, alright? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna restart and see if everything worked fine. Alright, so it's back. Oh, moment of truth. The Wi-Fi, I didn't have to do anything. It just started to work, okay? It just connected automatically. And scroll down. There is no error messages. It's working fine. Perfectly fine, guys. Hi, guys. That's pretty much it for me in this video. As always, links will be in the description down below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. As always, guys, you've been awesome. My name is Dacoin, and I'll catch you in the next one. Zee.